That is all I have to say. They can't keep quiet about it anymore. In a short time, more people will want Bitcoin and XRP than they have now. We are going to watch a video in which Matt Hugin, CEO of Bitwise, and Kathy Woods, CEO of Our Capital, talk about the secret meetings we talked about but never hear about again. We may have just put something together here, though it was in two different situations and two different movies, one by Kathy Wood and the other by Mr. Matt, what I've heard, though, is that they are ready and that they expect a lot of money to flood into this cryptocurrency environment. First, I'll show you the short video clip that Kathy made. Then I'll show you a small part of what Matt said. I'm going to watch the whole video of what Matt said about the demand for Bitcoin. Then I want to talk about the demand for XRP, which will come from businesses rather than regular people. To give you an idea of what that could look like, so think about shopping, being very poor and looking for Bitcoin, and now think about institutions. They must be looking for a useful gift that will help them since they are so rich, right? There are two different types of people interested in these assets institutional demand, which is going toward XRP, and retail peasants who are just trying to make quick money by watching the news talk about Bitcoin. We'll talk about that funding group in a moment. But pay attention to what Kathy Wood says. They found out what they talked about in the secret meeting. This means we're not done yet. In fact, the wirehouses that are common among our clients and in our business are interesting, which is why Morgan Stanley hires all of its advisors to work at them. Stanley Morgan, none of them have allowed Bitcoin to be used on their website, not even UBS, BFA, Wells Fargo, and Lynch at BFA, Wells Fargo. It has not yet happened. And they're our biggest customers. Keep an eye out for the blast when it does. I think there will be an even bigger wave in a few months when the main wirehouses start to turn. This has been interesting. Since these are the wirehouses that hire most of our staff, I think a bigger wave is coming. Keep an eye out for the blast. Hold on, because XRP is about to blow everyone away. After that, he talks about Morgan Stanley and says that it's going to fall apart. There is no UBSW Fargo at all. Since XRP has been used by institutions, its real use case hasn't even started yet. It looks like nothing has happened yet. And right now, 58C XRP, look at everything. The whole thing makes you laugh. You want to say that it has been acting this way for a very long time. It took some time, but smart people finally realized that for banks and political groups like the WF to adopt new technology, uh, they will need a lot of information and records from the past about the assets in question. It's not possible to make a system and then use data that's only good for five years to run trillions of dollars through it. Ten years old is still pretty young for them, so it won't take long for them to learn how to use the technology we have now. But I think you should pay attention to what Matt Hugin says now and just from the ETFs organizations? That is a great question. There is a huge market for all of these ETFs, including the Bitwise Bitcoin ETF, because they can all be bought in traditional stores. People who put money into these ETFs see hedge funds, RIAS, or independent financial planners. In a few months, when the main wirehouses start to work, I think there will be an even bigger wave. For now, Bitcoin's IPO is the start of a new era of how prices are set, and I think that prices may go up a lot in the future. Let's talk about possible places for them to go. I just need to go back for a moment, please. Regarding the idea of who you think is buying these ETFs, i.e., the percentage of individual investors vs. companies, yes, in fact, these ETFs are made available at first at the big wirehouses, at the big banks. Uh, these ETFs, like all others, get their first buyers from the retail and private markets. Let me explain. I think that what we're going through is mostly due to hedge funds and financial advisors. I'm getting on a plane to talk about this ETF with one of the biggest institutional advisors in the U.S. This meeting will bring in the next wave of institutional capital. You talked about hedge funds, but which I will put under the terms institutional or professional. What are you going to do about this big move? I believe that money is what's caused this. Or do you think it's going to be business as usual? I think both are true. Both are true. It's just new demand if you look at Bitcoin before the ETFs. A small group of donors were the only ones who could get it. Today, almost anyone can buy it, and the market forces of supply and demand are exactly what you'd expect. This week alone, ETFs have bought 30,000 Bitcoins. The price is being driven by the fact that less than 3,000 people have mined all of Bitcoin. It includes hedge funds, stores, and the group of advisors, so there will be a lot of demand for XRP. Things are going to go crazy. While everyone is busy with Ed and Bitcoin, XRP is about to have its moment. It's almost time, ma'am. A lot of people will be shocked when it does. There will be a lot of demand for XRP, and its value will come from being able to make cheap and quick cross-border payments if more banks and financial institutions accept it. But let me quickly go over some differences between XRP and Bitcoin in plain English. OPXRP is a short-term money. You may have all heard about the bridge currency from a German newscaster, if you get what I mean. A lot of people paid attention to that, but CDB will have to get involved in the World Reserve Bridge currency because of the need for XRP. 
You don't have to be a genius to guess what will happen in this world when you look at everything that has happened with Ripple and XRP. XRP is the only digital currency that gives you more information. You can see that it doesn't really solve a real world problem when it comes to pipes. People on speculators see Bitcoin as digital gold and a way to keep value, which is what drives demand for the currency. And then, of course, loan amounts. This is what the banking system is built on without liquidity. You're having a tough time. Infrastructure, because XRP is a bridge currency, it needs to have a lot of liquidity so that big transactions can be processed fast without making the market price go down by a lot because the price per unit will be higher. XRP can be used to make bigger deals that have less of an impact on the market. Ripple has been building a network of institutions and payment providers for the past 10 years. I also call it a network of trust. The most cost-effective way for money to get from one person to another on a Ripple network can be found immediately when XRP is used as a bridge currency. It's crazy that people are blind because they can quickly change their local currency to XRP and then back to their recipient's local currency. In their new accounts, businesses that use XRP as a British currency will be able to hold less cash. In order to do business on a billion or even a trillion dollar scale, you need depth and cash. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it has to be deep. So ladies and gentlemen, please know that I value each and every one of you. Feel free to tell me what you think in the area below. When we get back, we'll make another video. Outro started to make news when people thought that cryptocurrency liquidity would one day be able to support strong global payments. Large purchases shook the market enough to make it fully developed. If our fiber-based network works well, we might be able to switch to Odell, and that's exactly what's happening during the switch. I think you're a part of what we're making. I think about all the tickets and know that they're helping to solve a real problem. Anyone could see how useful they are. If real buyers are getting something of value and use from the token, it will have value.